Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the text animator position. First, I'm gonna add some text. I'll click on T for the type tool, click in the composition, I'm just gonna type out my name. I'll click on the selection tool and go to the align panel. And I'm just gonna align the text to the center of the composition. The font that I'm using is called Landrina Solid and the size is 175 pixels. Next, we'll add the text animator position. Select the text layer, go to the properties panel, go to the very bottom and see text animation section, click on plus add animator, then select position. If you're not using the latest version of Adobe After Effects, that's 23.4 or later, just twirl open the layer Locate Animate, click on the arrow, then select Position. When working with text animators, the first thing you'll typically do is change the value of whatever property you're using. So in our case, we are using the Position Property Text Animator, so we're gonna change the value of the Position Property first. I want this animation to come from the top, so we're just gonna change the Y value. I'm just gonna drag it until the text goes just off the composition. So the second step when working with text animators is to twirl open the range selector. It's these properties, start, end, and offset, which actually animate the text. And just as an FYI, when we change the position of this text animator, you're not actually changing the layer. So if you ever wanna go back to the original text, you can just hide the visibility of the animator or simply delete it and the text will just go back to the original position. I'm gonna to toggle on the visibility for animator one, then you want to twirl open range selector. When you're first getting started, I recommend that you just change the values of all these properties so you can see what they do. If we do the start, change it from 0% as I drag towards 100, you'll see it's starting at the beginning. So it's just animated on the characters one by one starting at the beginning. If I do the same for the end property, you'll see the value is currently at 100%. If I change it down towards 0%, you'll see it's doing the exact same thing as the start, only it's starting at the end. And the offset property is kind of a combination between the start and the end. The main difference between offset and the other two properties is that with offset, you can actually go into the negative values. If you go from 0% to 100% using offset, it's doing the exact same thing as the start property. And if you go from 0% to negative 100%, you guessed it, it's doing the exact same thing as the end property. Where the real power of offset comes in is when you start combining the properties or when you go into the advanced animation. So I'm just gonna drag the playhead or the CTI to the beginning of the timeline, click on the stopwatch next to offset. I'm gonna move forward in time to let's say the one second mark. I'm gonna change the offset from 0% to 100%, drag it back, tap the space bar, and now we have a text animator position property animation. Cool, the text is still editable. You can also stack on additional text animators right on top of each other. And I highly encourage you to twirl open advance and just start exploring some of the properties to see what they do. I'll change the shape from square to smooth, turn on randomize order, and now I have a totally different animation. And that is an introduction to how to use the text animator position property in Adobe After Effects CC 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.